here. This video, I'm going to show you how to decrease or eliminate video stutter or buffering or uh, whatever you want to call it that happens uh, when streaming, uh, whether it's Exodus or Salts or Phoenix or whatever. Even local files can have this issue if you're using Kodi as the tool to play them back. So uh, this is, we're gonna show you how to do the advanced XML. There's been lots of videos showing how to do this. So I'm gonna try to explain a little bit uh, as to how it's working, what it's doing, at least a little bit anyways, and just show you. There's a lot of different numbers that people show you to put in, and I'm gonna try to show you what they mean. So uh, we're gonna go to system, we're gonna go to file manager, if you don't already have the advanced XML, you're gonna add uh, the TV add-ons directory, which I already have here. There is the address in the file manager. You'd have to add that as a source if you didn't already have it. So there you go. We Once it's added, you'll go to settings, you'll go to add-ons, and you'll install from a zip file. Find Fusion. Go to the repos, go to English, and you're gonna look for Kinkin. There it is up there. Install that repository. Uh, once it shows at the bottom there that it's been installed, go into it, click on that, and go to program add-ons and install easy advanced settings. Once it's installed, you will then open it and you're gonna go to edit settings. I hit reset there just cause I had already done it. So I'm starting fresh again. I hit reset all settings. You don't have to do that. You can hit edit settings, go to network settings, go to network again, and you'll see everything here says disabled. We're gonna go down to the cache mem buffer size. We're going to select that. All right, and you're gonna get rid of the word disabled. And what you're gonna do here is you're gonna figure out how much free space you have in RAM, which you can do by going to the system info tab. And that'll show you how much you have in megabytes. You're gonna convert that to bytes and divide it by three. And that's the number you're gonna put in. So that's the number I have there. That's for a good setting for a two gigabyte box is what this setting was uh, set for. And then you'll see I hit buffer mode. I put one, read buffer factor four. I've also seen people put five in there. And then you have to back all the way out to the right XML file. Click on that. You'll see the file has been created. And as always with Cody, what you wanna do often is you want to exit right out of Kodi. It's a good idea. Relaunch Kodi, and then that should help. And uh, again, you know, these are settings that will help you as long as you enter in the right numbers. Again, the best thing to do is go to the system settings tab here. Click on system info and then see how much free memory you have under system info. I can show you that quickly right now, actually. Uh, let's see here. If I have Cody running, there we go. If I go to system info, this is on my phone, which has a lot of RAM. Uh, it's a one plus three with six gigs of RAM, but you can see I have 1788 approximately. So I would convert that to bytes divided by three, and that's the number I enter in, which would be, in this case, uh, would be something like 600 million bytes. So if you have a two gigabyte box, chances are available RAM will be somewhere around 1.2, 1.3, you'll enter in around 400 million bytes. If it's a one gig box, chances are you'll have 600 megabytes available, something like that. You'll enter in around 
200 million bytes. But that's the number you're entering in primarily that'll make the big difference. And uh, that's it. Let me know if this was helpful. Uh, don't, you know, if you need to pause and look at some of those numbers, go ahead and do that. Otherwise, that's it. Thanks for watching. And as always, please share and like and subscribe to my channel. And uh, don't be afraid to shoot me an email at technoguycanada at gmail.com. Uh, let me know if you need any more uh, information or suggest something that you'd like to see. And I'd be happy to do that for you. Thanks for watching.